Zach, another week where the Patriots are not exactly facing the toughest opponent out here at Gillette Stadium, but Bill Belichick did just get done saying that this is a very talented Rams team, and I think that a lot of their talent really is on the defensive side of the ball, but kind of depends on which Rams show up to this game. That's exactly what I was thinking. This is a very talented Rams defense, especially up front with Aaron Donald, one of the best defensive players in the entire NFL. Robert Quinn is very good. Dominic Easley is having a pretty good season there, of course, the former Patriot. <laughs> but it is going to depend on which team shows up. We've seen this Rams team hold pretty good offenses like the Seattle Seahawks to six points. And we've also seen them give up 49 points to the New Orleans Saints last week. I believe that was the most points any team has given up all season. So definitely both ends of the spectrum here. And I think the Patriots shouldn't have much of a problem winning this game, but I think the way the tenor of this game, the way this game plays out is going to depend on which Rams defense shows up here. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is also a game where the Patriots defense has a chance to show that they can shut down an offense, maybe get some turnovers in this game. They're playing against Jared Goff, a rookie quarterback who's played okay so far, but this Rams offense just isn't filled with very big names. And Todd Gurley obviously had a great rookie season. He's been struggling this season. Rams offensive line has been an issue. These aren't exactly the scariest opponents out here. So I think that this is actually a really good opportunity for the Patriots defense to step it up a little bit, get some pressure, get some takeovers, and kind of get the ball rolling heading into the playoffs for when they'll have to face much better teams. I agree. This, uh, this Rams offense has been a supreme disappointment, I'd say, this season, especially for... Uh, as everybody who has Todd Gurley on their mm -hmm. fantasy team knows, he's been not even close to what he was as a rookie. Yeah. Jared Goff, I'd have to say he was a disappointment after drafting him uh, first overall. You see his development is just so far behind that of Carson Wentz, even Dak Prescott, who was drafted much farther down in the draft. And the Patriots in recent years have been good against, against rookie quarterbacks. Actually, the last two rookie quarterbacks they've played, Cody Kessler early this season, Marcus Mariota last season, they knocked them out of the game <laughs> with injuries. So uh, uh, be careful out there, Jared Goff. Yeah, and I, the Patriots, as we've been saying week after week after week after week, not great at forcing takeaways, but I do recall a game last season where Jared Goff threw five interceptions against Utah. I think the Patriots defense can be a little bit better than that 2015 Utah team. So maybe not five interceptions, but the Patriots need at least one in this game or else there are serious issues moving forward.